When the alarm sounds, these paramedics jump into action. There's still a, a huge adrenaline rush to go out and do it. When a real life call comes in, Stand by flight paramedic Billy Stewart answers. Once those blades start spinning and you're 2,000 feet in the air, your heart's pumping because you got to make some quick thoughts and you got you to be on your A game for sure. Stewart works at the newest Life Flight base in Maine, located in Sanford. Before that, Life Flight had two bases, one in Lewiston and one in Bangor. The new base cuts down their response times to rural areas. It literally is the difference of life and death in a lot of situations. Inside this helicopter, they have all of the equipment that you would find at a hospital, allowing them to deliver critical care to a patient before they ever reach the emergency room. So we actually bring the hospital to the patient quicker than what they were receiving before. Providing critical care soon after an incident improves a patient's outcome. Life Flight is the only ambulance service in the state that carries blood on board. <laughs> Flying at 170 miles per hour and able to perform more procedures than many ground crews. When you have a flight that you truly know you've you know, saved somebody's life or impacted their their life, those that's that's unmeasurable. You just try to remember that this is probably the worst day of their life. So we're just trying to be the best part of their worst day. Stewart told me on that first day at the Sanford base that they responded to three calls with their Life Flight helicopter. So he said, I think our presence was validated on day one. I'm here now with Matt Albrecht. He's a paramedic with the South Portland Fire Department. And Matt, when you are in this ambulance, when you are transporting somebody to the hospital, giving them that critical care, what's going through your head? What are the thoughts? Is it stressful? Well, you know, this is pretty much a hospital on wheels. So we've got to do everything from put Band-Aids on to start someone's heart, uh, put tubes in their mouth to breathe for them. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on and we've got to pretty much do all that all at the same time. Sometimes we're alone back here, sometimes we have help. Sometimes patients aren't very happy with us because all the epidemics we've been seeing. So they're trying to fight against us. There's police back here. Um, it can be anything from a nice smooth ride to uh, just a battle royale almost, trying to get everything all going. When you do have that moment, when you know that the person you've transported has made it to the hospital safe, they've survived, what does that feel like to you to know that you played a role in that? You know, everything we do is, is all about a team. Um, it's not all about one specific person. And to know that you were a part of such a team that truly made a difference in someone's life, who truly appreciates it, um, you know, that's like that's the, the boost to your, to your um, confidence level, your, um, your morale. And it just really, we, we don't always see good things in the job. And um, that can bring us down, just like anything. And when you know you played a part in truly making a difference and saving someone's life, that's really, you know, that's why we're here. And it reminds everyone why they do this job. Awesome. Matt, thank you so much for everything you, your whole team, and, and paramedics like you across the state do. Thank you so much. Lee and Amanda, we'll send it back to you. All right, guys, uh, thank you very much from all the way over there. I appreciate <laughs> that. <laughs> we go uh, from the